Right, so this is my the, the login of my NAS. Um, as you can see, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 active internal drives. And I'm currently going to be upgrading it because I'm going to change this 4 terabyte drive to an 8 terabyte. The current capacity of all these drives is 57 terabytes. Once I upgrade this uh, hard drive, it'll take it to 61 terabytes. So this is a 57 terabyte 12 bay NAS. Now, one of the reasons why I like using Windows is the logins are quite easy to share the files. I just use the Windows account. Yeah, my computer, say in my school, just have a Windows account and then I set the permissions up pretty easily uh, like that. The other thing is I also have, uh, I do some downloading, I uh, do some browsing. So I also like to use this NAS as a computer. This computer also acts as a surveillance computer. So the, the NAS is multi, has multiple purposes, not just a storage facility, but also as an active PC. And this is why I'm using the Windows 10. I also find that it is extremely stable um, with 12 hard drives here, no problems. Um, 57 terabytes is a fair amount of data to, to manage. It will be 61 terabytes soon. And that's the, the ins and outs of my NAS. Oh, another thing is I use Kodi. So Kodi uh, um, works very nicely with the uh, Windows shared folders. So, for example, if I want to watch Blu-rays, I've shared this Blu-rays folder and all my uh, movies are, um, are being viewed from this uh, Blu-rays folder. Hi, this is just a demonstration of my homemade NAS. I'm going to briefly describe what is involved in this NAS. Alright, this is a 12 bay NAS. I have 12 hard drives in this NAS and I'll demonstrate them now. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and an SSD drive here at the bottom, 12, 12, 12 bays. How I got 12 bays in this uh, computer is I'm using the Gigabyte GA79, sorry, the GAZ97XUD5H motherboard, which has on board um eight SATA ports it already has eight then i have two pcie cards each having two additional ports so that brings it up to 12 bays now in terms of the power supply i'm using a i think it's a gigabyte it's a 500 watt power supply and the reason why i don't need such a big power supply is there's no graphics card on this nas the um, yes it does look like a dog's breakfast the total capacity here is well over 40 terabytes in fact right now I am actually installing or actually changing to uh, a hard drive to add an additional 8 terabyte drive to my NAS now in terms of the cooling this is the biggest challenge with the NAS I have the standard fan that comes with the computer, then the CPU fan. Now I have installed an additional fan here to extract air out. The important thing with cooling is to what you put in, you must take out. So on the front side of the NAS, I have a fan blowing inwards and another fan blowing inwards. So these two fans, one two and there's actually another one here three so these three fans are all blowing inwards then i have this fan here extracting and extracting so actually i'm getting air moving like this through the nas constantly past the drives 
Right, to actually demonstrate, um, I've this is a DIY job, this isn't off the shelf in a store. If you look, you'll see that I'm pointing at a fan which I've actually cut out and installed uh, myself. And then I have another fan recessed in here, almost directly on the drives, cooling those three drives. And then there is a four bay kit that came with its own fan and the fan is sitting here the cooler master then this little guy here icy dock comes with uh, th thermo thermo thermostats and uh, sample wires to actually these uh, sample sensors here to actually I've put them in different places on the on the NAS. So there's one there and this is a temperature sensor, a temperature sensor and there's one on the other side of the NAS. And what it does is it it'll alarm if the NAS overheats. So that's how I've dealt with the cooling. Yes I know this I should really think of cleaning this up but as I said this is just a DIY job. This NAS runs 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. This is a look on the outside. And another thing about this NAS, it doesn't look very appealing. In fact, if you look at the cover, it's all scratched and looks all scratched and dirty. And that's actually intentional. You know, if you look at this computer, if you look at this computer, you, you might not actually be interested in even giving it a second look. You look at it, it's all scratched and that, yet this computer itself is sitting with 12 hard drives, um, so much content. It's just sick how much content is on this NAS and it is just exceptionally reliable.